twin brothers reunite on a journey to recovery. They've seen each other through a lot together. Tonight, we visit the Cipriano home, the place where a brutal attack and murder took place seven years ago that is now the center of hope and healing for this family. It was the story that captured our hearts and minds seven years ago, the baseball bat attack of a local father, mother, and brother inside their Farmington Hills home. And there's so much more to that story, Jason. Now, in that attack, Bob Cipriano died. Rose and Sal Cipriano were beaten nearly to death. Sal's adopted brother, Tucker, and his friend, Mitchell Young, were later convicted of the crime. Tonight, we have a rare and exclusive look at Sal's recovery as his family invited me to his home to show what determination and grit can do for a survivor. You're watching a miracle. 24-year-old twin brothers playing basketball. Doctors weren't sure Sal Cipriano would ever walk again, let alone be able to play ball with his brother Tanner. It means a lot because we obviously we've been doing this for seven years now, um, but each year we just see so much growth. So much growth. This was Sal after his attack, trying to get his brain to tell his muscles to move. Watching those first videos is like, this isn't even you. Who is this guy? and what did you do with them? Sal's goal was to walk, eventually run, and through the years of therapy and with a wealth of doctors, he was able to achieve that goal. Now, he plays on a baseball team. He wanted to throw out the first pitch at a Tigers game, so he trained and he did it. But that wasn't enough for the 24-year-old. Sal really wants to be able to talk, mm -hmm. which makes complete yeah. sense, yeah. And most of us communicate that way. It's faster. That's Angie McCalla, Sal's speech language pathologist. Stay relaxed. They allowed our cameras in during a recent session. Good, a little faster. Okay, bye. The therapy is strenuous. Sal has a hard time with is initiating the speech sounds. Like how do we, how do I start to make an L or how do I start to make an M? So we're combining wow. traditional speech um, exercises with some alternative wow. ways to do things. Since Sal loves baseball, they work wow. on him catching the ball and wow. speaking. So the more ways we can light up the brain at any given wow. time, the better luck we are. As Sal tries to get his speech back, he relies on his phone to communicate to others. Sal has perfectly intact language. He has good receptive language. So he understands what we say. He's got a tremendous sense of humor. And you can see the sense of humor firsthand when he's with his twin brother. What is it like to have him back? Good. Good? That's it? <laughs> After everything I said about you? <laughs> How about a hug? They're twins. So... They've seen each other through a lot together, so it's very neat that right he can come back and be part of this and get another special event. The event is the Cipriano Classic, a 5K annual race that helps raise money for the Ciprianos to help pay their always mounting medical expenses. Very honored and humbled because there's still a lot of support of people helping us out. This race helps motivate me to stay on track with my own healing and to keep us all together in a positive way. Go. Tanner came back home for this week's race so he can run with his brother. Family is the most important for the Ciprianos and helping Sal reach his dream to speak again. It seems like you have really made progress since last year. How do you feel about how you're doing? Very good. I'd say very good is an understatement. Sal and his family are so excited about this Friday's 5K fundraising race. It's in Farmington. If you'd like to run or maybe you want to donate to help the family, posted all that information on our website. Click on Detroit.com. Boy, what a good story and what an incredible recovery. I mean, from where he was at the beginning to where he is now. Well, it's funny because when they first started doing the recovery, the doctor says, do you want to speak or do you want to walk? We have to pick one because that's what the, how the brain is going to yeah. form. He chose walking. It took years. Now he's choosing speaking. And I guarantee you yeah. he's going to get it. I would not bet against yeah. him in anything. Yeah. Did you see the shirt? Not yeah. done yet. Not done yet. That's what he always Great says. motivation. Yeah. Now here's a look at what we're working on for.